Thomas time! What is going on guys? How are you doing today? As I promised, we will be reacting to yet another Thomas and Friends Garry's Mode video which I made a long time ago and that's how I basically started my channel. On my last reaction video Thomas and Friends Toy Story movie I asked you which uh, of the Garry's Mode movies I should react to next and the majority of you guys voted for Thomas and, um, and Friends the Ghost Train video. I haven't seen this video in about um, probably two and a half years. But I'm pretty convinced, you know, as we watch it I will be remembering stuff, how I actually made it. Here comes Thomas. Diesel. Whoops. By the way, that whoops. You see his facial expressions, that was not done in Garry's mod, that was actually done in uh, Adobe Photoshop. So basically I took a picture of, uh, for example in this case, Diesel's face and I edited it in Photoshop to make him like, uh, you know, like, like such a weird facial expressions. But because Garry's mod w wouldn't allow me to edit specifically Diesel's face. Way too slow. Way too slow, Diesel. Diesel is boosting Thomas. Hi Gordon, hi Percy. Yeah. <laughs> hi Gordon, bye Percy. Now that facial expression was actually done in Gary's mode. No Photoshop here. We got to hear the artificial voice. Because as I said, I wasn't comfortable recording my own voice. So I had to come up with a software which would read my pre-written dialogue which I wrote before recording in Gary's mode. Look at that Percy's face. Again, that was Photoshop. Oh no! There's a tunnel! And happened on the... All these crashes, all these jumps and crazy stuff was done using the physics gun in Gary's mode. Physics, physics gun allows you to basically do anything you want in a game, you know. And I'm pretty sure my Garry's mod model is somewhere flying here with the physics gun, but I made him invisible, obviously, for the movie, so you wouldn't see me. So that's pretty fun stuff. <gasps> Ooh, we discovered some Abandon station and there's a creepy voice coming out of there! Loser! Diesel, Loser. what have you done? The flashlights, the lights of the engine were part of the diesel model in Gary's mod, but facial expressions, Photoshop. I broke my lamps. Hum. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Them. This is not good. Them. How you doing? Tom is the useless engine. Huh. Thomas the useless engine. This is ah. such a. By the way, I just heard there's a special delivery awaiting at the Great Waterton. There's a sweet reward to the engine yeah. which gets there first. Gordon basically tricks Diesel into going into this abandoned shaft or abandoned station, whatever you want to call it. So Gordon is really being a little bit of a troll in this story. Really? Yes. Can, oh really? my god, look at his face expression. In defense of Gordon, guys, Gordon wanted to punish Diesel for being this, you know, engine which always causes troubles and... From one perspective, Gordon is a little bit of a troll. And from other one, he kind of wants to teach Diesel a lesson. I guess I should be leaving now. I don't want to miss such an opportunity. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> Wait! Why don't you use the shotgun? There. The one through the tunnel. Correct. See ya. Farewell. Yes, yeah, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea where he went. I don't get it. Ah, I guess you've never heard this story many years ago. When Henry got himself stuck in that tunnel, he told me that he discovered something sinister inside of it. That was, I think, one of the very first Thomas and Friends episodes. 
aired on the TV. Correct me if I'm wrong, it might be one of the first. And it actually might be one of the saddest and uh, weird episodes because I think Henry got punished in that episode. He was basically stuck in a tunnel and I'm not sure how it ended, but I think it pretty much ended with Henry being inside the tunnel. This tunnel, just like the one with Henry, leads to an abandoned underground railroad. That's where Henry found him. Another Thomas engine. What do you mean? There was another Thomas before you. Reckless, uncontrollable engine. Who apparently got lost in the tunnels. So there was another Thomas, which got lost in the tunnel, and uh, he couldn't find a way out. So you, we can assume he spent a couple of dozen of years inside that tunnel and train station, so he probably went a little bit insane. But it's just a legend, of course. Yeah, it's just a legend. Nothing to worry about, guys. My poor lamps. Stupid Thomas. Now I can't see anything. So Diesel is blaming Thomas for breaking his lamps, even though Diesel was the one cr who crashed into Thomas. Say kids, what time is it? What time is it? Oh my god. That TV, by the way, obviously wasn't showing this ghost train. I edited it in Adobe After Effects. That's my favorite TV show. <gasps> Finally, somebody can play with me. This will get out of here. So, not what this game way we play. I don't want to play. So basically, Ghost Train is in control of the kind of this portion of the universe. He is in control of the train station. As you can see, he can manipulate whatever TV showing, voice, anything. He's basically a god there. I'm not sure this was a good idea. I mean, what if Diesel gets lost? Just like that ghost engine. He won't. Besides, this ghost isn't harmful. I know it hates lights and bright places. That's why it always stays in the dark. And that is a crucial part on how you basically can defeat the ghost train. <laughs> that commercial, I had no idea what I sh what what I should put on the TV to scare Diesel even more, so I decided to put, you know, just Let's go with a random Thomas and Friends toy commercial. Wow, this looks fun. Yeah. <gasps> I only wish I had this toy station. Oh, thank God, everything is fine. Why is it always the <laughs> Thomas and <laughs> Friends <laughs> Station? As you can see guys, his eyes, uh, his eyes in the Garry's mod, the Ghost Train model were black and those red glowing eyes, once again I've, ma I've edited myself in Adobe After Effects. That's it, whatever you say, I'm going to find they him. They heard Diesel screaming so they... Wait! They gotta help him now. Please oh my god, poor Diesel, he can't do anything. Why is this super station? Is that the ghost train? No! That's Thomas! And he's carrying some Thomas. sort of a lamps. I'm glad I found you. Now let's get out of here. Put this on. And don't say anything about Christmas. So Thomas is pretty much a genius in this movie. He instantly figured out, you know, he heard Gordon telling that Ghost Train is afraid of dark, uh, is afraid of light, basically, kinda. So Thomas brings these lamps and he's going to, if I remember correctly, decorate himself and Diesel. So they will be like, you know, driving flashlights. 
No, Thomas is not carrying the DL lights. I think it's Diesel, yeah. That's funny. You look just oh, like no. me. I was about to say say. Where are you going? Poof! Those poofs and engines disappearing were done in Adobe After Effects, not in Garry's mode. The engine disappearing was done in Garry's mode, but those red smokes and uh, everything, all these effects were done in After Effects. That's a you have to stand. That's a big engine. I said, you have to stand. That's a cool effect. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Really, I made something that cool so long time ago. So they draw away. Well, I guess I just wasted 99 bucks. So you can see the ghost train maybe wasn't really evil. All he wanted to do, guys, was to play Thomas and Friends Superstation. He basically bought this toy so he can play with somebody. So I kinda feel bad for him. He's stuck alone there, he has no friends, nobody, and he just wants to play, guys. And Diesel, he wanted to play with Diesel. So it's kinda sad. Somebody is coming, please, let it be Thomas. Did he manage it? Yes. Here comes Thomas and Diesel glowing. They're back, guys. Woohoo! To be fair, there's something really cool about seeing yourself as a ghost. Thought I guess Diesel will disagree. I disagree. Diesel will disagree. Diesel probably had the most frightening experience he ever had in his entire life. Well, I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me. I've already done that. Now, how about we do something fun? Yeah, let's play some games, like building a train station. Thomas is so kind, he already forgave Diesel, guys. Huh, did They're someone French say left. play? <laughs> huh? <gasps> what? Are you telling me this entire time Gordon was the ghost tree? This is really weird, I can't remember what was going on here. It was either the ghost train possessing Gordon, maybe somehow, maybe go at some point in the past Gordon went to the train station and ghost train, a part of the ghost train now lives in Gordon, or Gordon was the actual ghost train, and what we've seen in the inside the uh, tunnels was actually maybe a copy of Gordon or his projectile but this is really I don't remember me creating that, that twist a little bit shorter than I remember but you know what guys if you stayed with me for this all this time until now you deserve something else we're going to bring up the bonus reaction video Actually, I think that video will be so short that we can watch two more videos. This video we are about to see, guys, will be the first ever Gary's Mod, my Gary's Mod, Thomas and Friends video. I downloaded the Minecraft map, I put some rails, I put Thomas there, and I came up with this bizarre story of Thomas, I think, wanting to eat a cake. <laughs> There he goes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. No dialogue whatsoever. Mm, yummy! <laughs> <laughs> what are those sound effects? Where is the proper dialogue? Pretty tricky. 
The cake is on the other side of the tracks and Thomas is trying to reach it really carefully. I think he's going to break or something like that. I don't remember. Sound effects. Oh! So he just basically he was driving normally and then he just falls. Now that's a cool stunt. I'm trying to remember how I managed to do it in Gary's mod. I think I was holding Thomas with physics gun once again or something like that. Is he going to fall? No! And the cake, we've never got, we never reached the cake. She's swimming somewhere. That's a really beautiful looking sun. A very realistic sun, let me tell you. That scene right here is actually Thomas was not here it's not in Gary's mod I think entire scene was done in Adobe After Effects as well where is he going? he will never find his cake again no poor Thomas oh you see how weird it looked basically this is a re... re uh, let me pronounce it correct we were rever reverse shot. Uh, originally, I recorded Thomas going into the water, and then I reversed it so Thomas goes out of the water. So basically, backwards. <laughs> he actually found cakes, and a lot of them. So you see guys, your efforts will not go unnoticed. If you want something, you will always get it. So that's the moral of this story. But that's not it. As I said, the video will, was really short. Let's react to, I believe, the... My second Thomas and Friends Gary's Mode video, which, which will be called Thomas and Friends The Mystery Box. At this point I was more feeling more comfortable with Gary's mod. I think we will see some a little bit cooler stuff. That music. Hmm. What's in the box? Hmm. Thomas found a very strange box. An ice cream, candies, chocolate. You know what? I don't even remember what was inside the box. It's moving! What? It's definitely not chocolate or ice cream. There's no way ice cream can move like that, right? <laughs> it flies away, guys! How did I come up with this? Oh, look, it's James! Did I create this map myself or I downloaded it? I definitely put James myself, Gordon there myself. Hmm. So basically, I wasn't reading, writing dialogue, so I had to come up with this picture so I will explain to my audience what Thomas is thinking, what Thomas wants. In this case, he's basically asking James, James, have you seen this box? Oh, no. oh, there it is. <coughs> what was that sound effect? Oh, he found it. It's probably going to fly away again. No, it's just randomly falling. He's so angry.
Out of all the sound effects, I decided to come up with farting box. Hmm. Thomas was like, did they fart it? Did they fart or was it some or was it wind? I remembered what was inside the box. Hmm. Oh. So as I said, I was more comfortable editing videos. This kitten was not in Gary's mode. It was added by myself later on through the effects. Oh, he's so cute. That's... that's like the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh. So he basically delivers uh, this lost kitten to the... Cat farm? Oh, they're all... <laughs> Good job, Thomas! Thank you for delivering kitten. So yeah guys, that was Thomas and Friends Ghost Train, Thomas and Friends Mystery Box and my very first video, Thomas and Friends The uh, Cake Adventure. Thank you for watching those with me guys and uh, of course we will be reacting more, there are, <laughs> believe me or not, there are more uh, this type of uh, videos in Gary's mods, uh, including uh, at least Diesel problem, which was really funny. There's like Thomas going to space. Thomas and friends uh, back to the future, I think, where I use DeLorean and it's basically a recreation of the um, scene where Marty McFly goes back to the um, uh, 1985 in Back to the Future 3 from the Wild West. So yeah, we've definitely got more of this type of reaction videos, guys. Thank you again. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed it. And have a good time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.